temptation activates lust. And then James says that when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. You see the process here. And this is what James is telling us, that, that the act of sin is a process. We may not realize it because often it happens all so fast. But the temptation comes because of the lust or the desire that James is telling us that is truthfully embedded within us. And it will seek to have control. It will seek to lead us in its direction. But all of this can be subverted. All of this can be overcome when we allow ourselves to be joined in the process of our spiritual person. That spiritual person that's within us, led by the Holy Spirit, when it rises up and it takes control, and it is the one that dictates to us our behavior. Because when the Holy Spirit is working through us in such a way, then it brings conviction, and it raises up within us a God consciousness. And our God consciousness will reveal to us that which is drawn out of our lust to commit sin. So that sin will not allow it or be allowed to have its process within us, which leads to the ultimate realm of death, both physically and spiritually. Now, I love the words of James, and I love the way that he lays this out for us, because it speaks to us of the conflict between light and darkness that lives within us, and that how the Scripture teaches us that we can be light. Indeed, he says that we can be as the light that is uh, set on a, a, a pedestal, a candle that provides the warmth and the light for all of those who would see. In other words, it becomes our testimony. And he, he talks about this in the gospel. He says, do you, do you want to take your light and do you want to hide it under a bushel to where nobody can see it, nobody can be able to see the light that's shined from the love of the light of Christ Jesus that shines within you when you have committed yourself to follow him by allowing your spiritual man to rise. Now you say, well, Pastor King, how does this happen? Well, first of all, it happens, as I spoke about yesterday, when, and I use the expression, when, when the light comes on, when we come to that place, do we realize that, that there's a, a spiritual world and that we are a part of that spiritual world, whether we realize we are or not, because we are all spiritual. But often, People have just pushed that side away. And there's no relationship with the spiritual person that you are. And you've spent your entire days on this earth just following the dictates of your flesh, which leads to, as James says, the eventuality of death, both physically and spiritually, because literally we, we've turned the light off. And as a result of that, we've denied ourselves from even having a relationship with the true and the living God. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.